you know, I've never been super big on UFC stuff, but with these guys willing to stand up for what they believe in, for the fans willing to stand up for what they believe in, I'm getting excited for this. So Dana White comes out and they ask him, this uh, reporter says, you obviously give a long leash to your fighters about what they can say when they are up there with the UFC microphone. Dana Leash snaps back saying, I don't give a leash to anybody. They can say whatever they want. Now, this is a sport I like. Yeah, I love that. That's fantastic. And then you get Sean Strickland, who was the champ. I say was. I think he still is. And you have the split decision after the fight where they claim he lost the title. And so this is uh, generating quite a bit of controversy. There's a lot of people saying, grow up, stop being a whiny little bitch. He lost. But I, 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 I'll, I'll just put it this way. And then we can talk about it. There's a conspiracy theory. Of course, people are going to suggest this, that the reason Strickland was uh, lost was not because he was the worst fighter, but because he's causing problems for the brand. So when people say to Dana White, you give your fighters a long leash, and then he says, I don't give anybody a leash. Dana White actually said publicly he thought Strickland won the fight. But there are people saying on Twitter, and I don't blame them. They're saying that when Bud Light comes and sponsors UFC, and one of the champs starts ragging on Bud Light and putting serious pressure on them, there's going to be pressure to get him out if they can, to end the quote unquote era of Strickland. I don't know that I believe that. All I can say is this. I'm not a big UFC guy. I don't know or care about points and scoring. I, I, I get it exists. All I can say is I get really excited when, you know, we've had Colby Covington here in the studio. It was awesome to meet this guy, someone willing to stand up for Trump publicly with no fear because these fighters have balls and for Sean Strickland to defend the people of Canada wearing a Make Canada Great Again shirt. I, I tremendously love and respect the defense of the working people by people in these positions who can speak up and have, it, have influence. So I say, wow, I got to watch this. I want I want to see this guy fight. He's the champ. I watch a fight. I watch a guy win a fight. I watch them claim the other guy won the fight. I don't get it. I mean, I understand why they're claiming he lost. I think it's the stupidest thing ever. And it makes me feel like it's all fake. I don't know. I didn't see the fight. You said he got knocked down five times. No. Strickland. There were six takedowns, but uh, I I'll put it this way. If, if, if I see two guys fighting in the street, it's like the average person looks at that and says like, oh man, that guy's beating that guy up. That's basically what happened here. Strickland was beating the other guy up. And then in the end, they're like, yeah, well, you know, he got knocked down a handful of times. And so the judges thought it went the other way. So we're giving him the, the guy, their guy the fight. So and the Supreme Court of MMA has ruled. I, I, I got to tell you, I went to the UFC fight with Donald Trump in Las Vegas uh, several months ago. It was an extraordinary experience. First of all, never has there been this much testosterone in one hall, any place in the country. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a, a, an all American uh, extravaganza. Nobody was nobody was snacking on tofu, if you know what I mean. It, it, and the the reaction that Trump got was extraordinary, just extraordinary. Now, I'm a big fan of Col of Colby Covington. I'm still I still haven't gotten over the fact that he lost, but you know what? He'll be back. His greatest victories lie ahead. That guy's got guts, uh, and I'm absolutely convinced. That he comes back. I completely agree. Uh, that was another one of these fights. So with with Colby, I was thinking he may actually have taken it in the last round. But again, like, I don't know. I'm like, for me, I watched that fight and I'm like, honestly, I have no idea. In the end, he like the final round, Colby absolutely, you know, I think he won that final round.